Hurry up and get my soup ready. Yes, sir. I like my soup nice and warm. Of course, sir. I'm feeling tired. Time for bed. He's still asleep. I shouldn't wake him up then. Where's my husband? He was still asleep when I got up and I haven't seen him since. I delivered his breakfast this morning. That was three hours ago. Three hours? It's nearly 11 o'clock. I'd better go wake him up. Wake up, honey. It's practically lunchtime. And you have a meeting with France at two. You didn't eat your eggs. Your favorite. He's dead! Hello, I am Mark. And I'm Helen. Just because you're in your 80s doesn't mean you can't be stylish. Here at Forever 81, we have clothing and accessories for old souls. And old people in general. Keep the sun out of the dries with these new fiddlers. They come in trendy new shapes and colors. Up your cane game with this new personalized model. Tons of patterns and colors to choose from. You can even get your grandkids' names on them. It's your big first. I finally full, we'll get a new fanny pack. It's hands-free and stylish. On sale at Forever 81, only for $15.99. Complete your fresh new look with one of our advisors. One for every outfit. That's right, come on down to Forever 81, the store of your dreams, to improve your wardrobe. For more clothes and styles, check out our website, www.forever81.com. Now with extra large font. You have to figure out who did this, please. We're doing the best we can. I'm so sorry about your loss. We will find the killer and put him in jail. But now that I'm president, I have a meeting with the Secretary of State. Oh, and since you aren't president anymore, you should start packing. You don't live here anymore. Goodbye. When was the last time you saw your husband alive? I woke up and I took a shower to take a stroll in the garden and then I arrived back and I took the children to cello lessons and tennis practice. Okay. And uh, where did you find his body? It was before lunch. He was lying in bed and he hadn't even eaten his eggs. Eggs? His breakfast. He hadn't eaten his breakfast. I see. And who brings the president his food? His aide, Margaret. Margaret, how long have you worked here? Ten years. Interesting. Am I correct in saying you bring the president every meal? I'm the head aide of this household, and yes, I do bring the president every meal. But I don't cook it. I don't make the food. The chefs make the food, then? Of course, sir. Last night was black bean soup. Delicious. The president loved microwave soup. I just warmed it up for him. <laughs> Excuse me a second. Hello? Uh-huh. Last night? Wow. Okay. Thank you. Who, who was that? The doctors. The president was poisoned. 